Got that Wild West feeling all over again. Cadillac taking the place of the Zephyr as the priority build. Jeep's on hold. Bug is just bugging over there. And the Zephyr is Zephin. Victor is coming in tomorrow. Today's Wednesday. Uh, last time we cut the roof off and introed the project so you know what we're dealing with. And I thought, you know what? If he wants to cut the roof off, there's some stuff that I want to cut off too. <laughs> so, uh, first, I think uh, this windshield is bugging me. Isn't it bugging you? Yes. Because it just looks like every other car that uh, could be done easily. And Victor and I have accomplished this with a lot of them. You know, we've modified the windshields, but for the most part, they've all retained their factory surround. And I was like, you know what? Oh. Take that factory surround. We're gonna, it's just plastic. It's a, oh. it's a TV prop. Oh yeah, that's right. It is. You know, like when they problem. break the wind, like when the guys in the wild west get thrown out of the bar. <laughs> well, it didn't sound like glass breaking. <laughs> Don't believe what you see on this reality television. TV magic. I'm not gonna risk getting cut. It's still plastic. Um. Yeah, we're gonna cut this off, and I got a couple options. So Victor's known about this project for years and he's always got some input, even though this wasn't his car. One day during the filming, he's like, hey, Ian, uh, I got the bumpers for that car. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, they're in the backyard. I bought them, they were going on something, but they're for that car. So you never saw that. So here they are. I think they're from a Mercury. Of course, this one's disassembled because in the rush to finish for television, Oh, I didn't have time to fabricate bumpers. Somebody will know what that is. Is that like a Rocketeer-inspired bumper guard or what? Super cool. So that goes here. This is the rear. Ah. Sorry, it's upside down. I don't even remember what I did to this now. Oh, because that's supposed to go there. So that's supposed to bolt in like that. Oh, look. See, I'm glad I save all this stuff. Here's the aforementioned flying lady. Somebody said that it was probably broken before. Uh, no, this was really good shape. Oh, was 32 it? Cadillac flying lady. So neat. So she fell on the ground. Her hair fell off. Her legs fell off. But that's fixable. I put some epoxy on there. Didn't last. Hey! Can you dig it? Front's even better. I didn't mess with that. See how I built you up? See how I did that? Bunch of broken stuff. Now a nice thing. It's the art of storytelling, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting good at it. So there's a couple critiques I have. I want a little bit higher. I feel like the spacing of these interferes with this. This is so, so oh, yeah. excellent. And in this 38 model, you see how squared off? I mean, someone said that these cars were described as like a skyscraper laying on its side. And you see that styling. It's Art Deco, but it's very... It's not smooth, it's not organic like these different styled stuff. So, pretty interesting. These would have had a blade style bumper, a lot more simple. So, I'm gonna talk to Victor about that now that we're really looking at it. Again, that project got nixed for the time frame. Any questions? No. I'm excited to get to work with Victor as the director. Yes. <laughs> So this uh, task is going to be pretty short and sweet, but we're going to see what we're getting into. I'm going to cut this windshield frame right off, and the cowl vent too. Cowl vent also, as well, in addition.
as I mentioned before, I'm uh, relegating all the gnarly disc cutting to the corded grinder. Because those cat tools are too valuable to just ruin by pushing into the material and really working the amperage on the tool. I like your shirt, Ian. Thank you. I'm not a veteran like you. No. But I was able to join the Roth Army. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. All right, so this cowl vent, I'm just gonna get in there and cut this off real quick. Don't be a majorly loud thing, so it's not sheet metal. So that's looking a little bit more generic. I was making these windshields years ago out of cast aluminum. It's styled after an Auburn boat tail speedster. I actually have the original for the Speedster kit, and we modified them a little bit when we made the mold. I have one piece of it here. My friend Rick has all the master patterns. But I'm gonna put the center on, take a look at this. So this is bronze, but we were making that out of aluminum. This is the center. And you see, just for the mold making, we deleted the channel that the glass goes in, and Rick had done some other stuff with body filler, etc., to just neaten it up a little bit. But the gist of it is, and uh, I will insert a picture here. The windshield is now something like this, really laid back. We put a piece of metal on there to get a good base. Like if this car was topless, Roadster, convertible, even, you know, this would be an appropriate windshield treatment. See how much laid back it is? Really reclined. Same gonna happen for the lightning. I know, giant magnet. There it is, ready for the struggle? <laughs> this magnet is so strong, like if you're wearing a belt buckle and you get close to the table, look it. You see this? It's all, this is all metal dust. Oh my gosh. That's. Oh my. A very strong magnet. Comes in handy. Like you can almost not put a wrench on it. Watch this. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't get it near my phone. <laughs> oh, right. Piece of work. Oh, my. Uh, this metal's not that thick, so it probably won't grab it that tough. <laughs> grab the it. way you go at it with a wrench. <laughs> I can't even take it off the wrench. Yeah. Imagine what it's doing to all this. Imagine what it's doing to all the steel in my blood. It's all going into my fingers right now. <laughs> And we're out. <laughs> that makes the nose look 50 feet longer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's cool. Well, one thing the visor helped, helped take some of the, some of the beak out of this thing. On the Zephyr cruise liner, if you saw that with the truck that had the Zephyr nose, we took the stock windshield and moved it. He repositioned it. That 
that may be appropriate for this. I'm gonna knock some of this stuff off real quick. On that Zephyr Cruise Liner project, we took the actual truck windshield, we moved it forward on the cowl and kind of made it a little more vertical like that. And uh, chopped it, of course, radically. So I don't think that's a bad concept for this either. Uh, what I'm trying to do is just take up a little bit of that nose, take a little bit of the massive proportion out of that. <laughs> oh my. See, by maybe moving the windshield forward a little bit. I don't know, you could see it better from your angle. Yeah, it definitely does shorten the nose. That's the primary concern here. And you know, we can, we can chop that any more amount that looks right. But something about the weight, it's always bugged me when we do this. You know, the weight of all this sheet metal, it always just looks kind of chunky to me. So I would really love to see something in the style of that, you know, the Auburn casting. Maybe we fabricate it. Maybe Victor has something, I don't know. But that's pretty much where we're at. Um, but I'm a little undecided right now is how much do I cut? How much do I remove? I think to get to that point, if you're looking at this, you can see the curve in it. So it's up and the dashboard's lower. Uh, knowing Victor, he's probably gonna want a custom dashboard. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'll come right off of this cowl vent, I'm gonna take this whole thing off and I'm gonna replace it with sheet. Make a generic platform to start from. You see all this has got curve coming up. But for this style, we're gonna want it to round out, come right through here, flat. So, I'm gonna get out the grinder. PCB. Right, so you can see not everything's phony baloney leaf TV stuff. Got a nice uh, offset power brake booster in there, so it will stop. That's all geared up. All right, so I think I'm going to take that sheet metal. I'm just going to put it just underneath this edge. Let me cut that with the grinder a little bit. Actually, I'm going to get the air hose while we have the opportunity. <laughs> You might want to step away from the operation. I'm going to get this dusty, get all that crud out of there. So roughly speaking, this dashboard moved a little bit, but pretty much there. We're going to need it to be about nine by, I'm going to do it in two halves, nine by 27. Lay that out on the sheet metal I have here, say nine. 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 It's my favorite number, by the way. Why is it my favorite number, Jamie? Why is it your favorite number? Because it corresponds with my favorite word. No. Uh, Nine. Get a language lesson and car fabrication. All in the same event. Time to muff it up.
Did I say 27? I don't remember. We are short. We have come up short. Let's do that again, but make it about five inches longer, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> yeah, let's do it that way now. Oh, it's because I measured straight, but it's on an angle. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Now we know. Yeah, that's only natural. On your first try, you're, you're bound to make mistakes. Set this in place like that. And use this down the center of the hood because we got it. For that. That's going to sit just like that. We don't want that. And the way this rolls out here is the challenge. I guess it's only that long or less. Cut that in the shear. So this mark I made here for the center, uh, I'm going to put that in the brake and bend it. That way when I join them below that post, center post will be very strong. I'll get to that momentarily. 90 degree bend on that. So see when it's in the car, this makes it very rigid. We want some tension in this panel. Sit like that. I'm going to start to bend approximately there. Like that. See, it kind of takes a twist. It's down like that. Yes, yeah, see? Yes, yeah, see? And this way in here. This is coming in. It's a rough estimate, sort of like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this with the disc. Then on the flat part, I'll just cut it with the shear. The goal here being to not distort this once it goes through those flat plates. See, if I was to shear all the way through, it would flatten that out. Yeah. That's pretty much what we're looking for right there. Because this dashboard suit snugs up. Let's do the same to the other side and get that set. I'm going to use this as a rough estimation on that piece. You see? So that, like that. That'll be our fold. And we come in roughly somewhere in that area. So now before I curve it or anything, I can just chop it down. Takes a little of the guesswork out. All right, now to be sure we don't make do it the same, man. All right, so we want to bend that down. Mark 
mark it here. Mark it there. Same thing with this side. A little loose estimate on the scene. Like that. Kind of like here. We know that was way twisted towards the rear side. So we're going to do that from the get go. Pull it back a little bit. So much better that one fit on the first try. All right. So, do a little tailor work right here and clip these together, set it in place. Now, when I say tailor work, I'm just going to cut off. This little edge so that this hangs over the sheet metal. All right, see, I little cut the little corners off just so that'll sit on top. I'm probably gonna let it sit below in the long run, but this is just, I don't wanna weld anything in place because uh, I want Victor to see. Tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> That's one thing. He's a really good sport. I mean, TV show makes him look like a bit of an instigator, and he might play that role when he comes in, but I'm only like, you know what, dude, this isn't that kind of operation. We can be ourselves, just like old times. Mm-hmm. For all the fame and the money mm -hmm. and the drugs. Oh, God. You mean the ibuprofen? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I mean. Don't want to give the wrong impression. No, we're in that biker gang, the sons of arthritis. <laughs> the ibuprofen chapter. All right. Let me get that screw gun and just pop a couple in there. Take a look. See, nothing goes to waste in this shop. Wow, that magnet is good. Never ceases to amaze. Just do that. Let's trim that. But that's cool. That just made a nice little. That just solved that riddle by denting it. <laughs> so, I mean, just for discussion, I'm going to leave that here. Maybe even bring it a little more forward, or rearward. I don't know, it's a little hard to say. That is really, that makes the nose look so huge. But uh, to open the discussion, that's where we're at. Maybe the windshield. <laughs> Divine intervention? I think so. The car said no. We'll it said nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> next time, Victor's here. We'll see what happens.